We do need to, to train together. I've been assigned to, to train with you for the diving. Catherine, you are the best coach I ever had. The cliffs, it's so dangerous. I could die. You won't die. Exactly, that's the point. Think of all the publicity, all the photographers, you at the top of the cliff, all the tourists, everyone down there. And then you are about to jump and all the you know you, you will be in every newspaper don't worry i mean I, I i know john for a long time he will do it if i insist and then rodrigo will be our new star excellent <laughs> okay. ah! now rodrigo <laughs> saw all the publicity and he's, he's he's fine to sign the contract you will be his diving coach from now on thank you mario I, I know I will be famous and rich, and, and you too. Catherine, this is the life I always wanted to have. Enjoy ourselves on the beach, drink a pina colada. Oh, darling, Mario. Oh, it's so sunny here, and such a nice weather. Now that we have the money, we can enjoy a thousand pina coladas, a thousand margaritas, and such a wonderful life. Thank you so much. No, 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 thank you, darling, because it's all because of you. Oh, darling. When you trained that tall diver, John. <laughs> well, it was all your idea. Yeah, but because of you, he jumped off the cliff. You, you convinced him and he died tragically. <laughs> I know, because of that, we have big promotion. You are training Rodrigo now. Yes, sir, uh, sun cream. Can you put some sun cream on my back, please? You know what? I... Oh, thanks. No, on the other side. I... I do enjoy this life. It's lovely. But... I tell you what. That's fine, thank you. I often think about poor John. I mean, he was a nice guy. He didn't deserve to die. Now, Catherine, let me give you a couple of wisdoms in life, yeah? In life, we have to take care of ourselves. If other people are stupid enough so that we can influence them or do the things we want them to do and we can earn a lot of money of that, that's their problem. You understand that? Yes, Mario, I, I, I always understand. I always support your ideas, but I can't get it out of my mind. Stop feeling that guilt, Catherine. When we were together, as a couple, I recognized in you those capabilities will make, make you very successful. You and me together. My ideas, your execution. Don't disappoint me, Katshin. Look, Mario, I don't want to upset you. I know, I know you trust in me, yes? And, 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 and I'm still supporting you. But as a friend, as a friend, can you? understand how I feel my conscience is not clear I can still see the face of John at the top of the cliff when he was gonna dive he was thought he was gonna be famous and I knew that was his end I can't get that out of my mind well you have to live with that I know I don't understand you 
you have done these things. There are consequences. Now you have to live with them. Otherwise, it will consume you from the inside. And it will make your life miserable from now on. So stop thinking, drink your pina colada, and let's enjoy the sun. Cheers. So, Katrin, I hope yes. you don't have any feelings of regret anymore. I try not to. I saw what happened with my uh, own father. My father had his big imperium, which he built up with his own hands. Direct yes. traffic. And because of him, actually, my mother died in a gunfight. That's very tragic, Mario. I'm really sorry about it. Well, my father was sorry too. He felt so guilty. He couldn't live anymore. Just think about that. We don't want you to go that same way my father did. No, I certainly won't. Guilt is not good, Catherine. Guilt destroys you from the inside. Stop it, yeah. I know. I know, Mario. I'm doing my best with Rodrigo, but, but it's just that I think... Sometimes I think you don't have any feelings. Sometimes I think you're just thinking about money, thinking about ambition, thinking about fame. What if it had happened to you? What if you had an ambition to become a diver yourself and somebody's just using you and kills you for their own benefit? Catherine, you have to stop talking like that. Well, that seems to just... If you continue talking like that, then that will be the end of our working relationship and our love relationship. <laughs> Catherine, I, I, I made this amazing dive. From the from the cliffs of Acapulco. I mean, Rodrigo. I did the thing John could, couldn't do. Oh, Rodrigo! Exactly the same spot. I wanted to prove myself. Oh, Rodrigo, you 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 are so good at this. I I am so proud of you. You have done every. You have followed every single instruction. You are training every day. You're getting stronger every yeah. day. Oh, you're so fantastic. You're awesome. I mean, the World Championship is very soon now, yeah? I yes. really have to be in excellent shape. And um, I was thinking, Catherine, I know it's... I've heard there's a, a drug on the market which yes. is not traceable. It could improve my performance a lot. What? Explain to me, what is it? Well, it boosts your self-confidence. It creates more oxygen in your body. It's an ultimate drug for sports. I could become so much more better. And I was just thinking, Catherine, you're my coach, yeah? I know it's not... But no one will know. I was wondering, can you get that for me? Can you get those drugs for me? No, of course you should give them the drugs. Are you aware of the fact that he's going to become addictive to these drugs just so because what? of the ambition? He can take the drugs, he can perform better, we can exploit him for a couple of years more, then we ditch him and we take another diver, uh, and we train him, and more money, another contract. That's the way, Catherine, that this business works, yeah. Mario, I had enough of this, I had enough of you, and of Rodrigo, both of you. You're just thinking about ambition, about fame, about success. You have no intention of being honest at all, are you? Look. Look, honey, if you bail out now, if you bail out now, I will tell the police all the things you've done. I haven't done anything. You've done it. Rodrigo, I think I'm going to be out of this. I can't continue. You want the pills. Mario wants more money. 
I have to confess something. What? Do you remember John, the diver, who died? Tragic accident. You have to keep this between you and me. It wasn't an accident. It was all planned, orchestrated by Mario. And the worst thing is that he doesn't care about your life either. If you take the drugs and you become an addict, he will not care about you. All he cares is about you becoming the champion and how much money, how many contracts he can make out of you. I'm just saying this to you so that you think about the drugs. Are you responsible for John's death? I suppose I am, because I was part no. of it. So Rodrigo disappeared. You know he wanted to go to the police? Telling everything you foolishly said to him? I had to solve the problem. Yes, Mario, so what are you going to do? Now the problem is solved already. He's buried in the hills. What? You, you, you killed Rodrigo? You wanted to go to the police and confess everything you said to him. How stupid could you be? I warn you, Catherine, don't do this anymore to me or you will end up a smell in a shallow grave in the hills of Acapulco.